Hello and welcome to a new video about pneumatics, still about cylinders. Yeah. Now we're going to talk about how we might mount cylinders. I just want to, to give you a short introduction into this topic. It will be a rather short video, because one thing I want to point out. I tried to make this already clear with the previous videos and with my drawings. So, if we have a brief look again at my drawing, this was the configuration of a double acting cylinder without damping. This is the configuration of a double acting cylinder with damping. You see, there is almost no difference. Yeah? It's, some parts are added yeah? even. Yeah? Look at the damping coil here. Yeah. If I switch to the part without damping, if we have a brief look here, there is this notch, there is this, this little thing. It, in this configuration, this makes no sense. However, this is the thing which is holding the damping, the damping uh, coil. In place. If we take if we take a look, if we also cut this one, yeah, you can see what I'm talking about. Here the damping coil, this simply is mounted there. Yeah? So the things are designed not every to work in different configurations simply. Yeah? This is called Modular principle, Baukastenprinzip in German. Huh? Modular system. So the rod is always the same, and in some configuration, some parts do not even make sense. However, due to be able to use the same configuration, the same part in different configurations, we are cheaper here. And this is exactly also the thing uh, what is used in mounting. Yeah? You know, you have now this cylinder yeah? and you want to mount it. Yeah? The cylinder itself, it's always the same. It will always look like this. Always. Yeah? From cylinder manufacturers, there are different elements, simply additional elements, and you can mount the cylinder here, standing, standing up, for instance, like this. Yeah. This configuration, there's a mounting plate here, or there are uh, some, some parts where you can clamp it down this direction. Okay? Yeah. Or there are parts which you can clamp on those on those rods here, and uh, you can simply make it. You can mount it different ways. Yeah, there are just different additional pieces to mount one and the same cylinder in different ways. So this is also modular principle. I'm using the cylinder as module, and I'm adding different sorts of clamps, different sorts of mounting equipment to be able to mount it this direction, this direction to make it even moveable. Yeah? It's just additional parts which differs. Yeah? The cylinder itself is the same. So, usually of each standard cylinder manufacturer there are different mounting parts, you just have to browse through the catalog, grab the correct one or grab the one you need, yeah, and well, use it. Yeah. It's, it also helps, it not only helps the manufacturer to, for, for being cheaper, yeah, it also helps us because we only have to select the cylinder and we are sure that we can mount it somehow. So this to be mentioned about mounting cylinders in our application. Okay. Next time, next time we're going to talk about uh, special forms of cylinders. Yeah? We're going to talk about 
They are also called linear drives. Yeah, we're talking about cylinders without rod. Yeah? Still with piston, but without rod. How those are working, we will see then. Yeah? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.